Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3111, which is a hard level, we can tell by the purple and the skull. We've got 17 moves to clear out 36 jelly. The problem is these magic mixers on the board. Now sometimes magic mixers are a bit ineffectual. They only have a radius of the eight squares around them. And therefore this would be moot because it wouldn't be able to hit on the conveyor belt and these are dead spaces but these are super hyperactive and they can actually flood this entire area with these licorice twirls now i started out with a really good setup in the beginning i'm going to be able to make a color bomb and that's significant in the beginning because it'll help me to open up the rest of the board but it's probably still not going to be enough we need the right luck at the right time and we need a lot of it plus we need to be able to play well to capitalize on that luck when it shows up Let's see what I can do with this. I'm hoping this is going to be enough to get things done, but I won't be surprised if it's not. Now, every three turns that I take, that I don't strike these, they have the opportunity to produce those licorice. Uh, that was one turn. This is two. You can see they're getting more and more agitated. Now, in this third try, they're going to start filling things in, and they may go ahead and get this. So right away, I'm just going to take something out. I can take out green or I can take out blue. It's very even here, but I'm going to go ahead and take out blue because it's there's blue in the upper areas. And see, it was important for me to use up that color bomb I was given, or I would have probably lost it. So now I've got this board open. Now I can start making some progress here to try to play this tug of war game against these guys. And then if I have the opportunity to strike them, I will. But notice I can't get to any of them yet. Making the specials is only secondary to actually hitting these guys. Ah, oh, look at this. I'm making no progress whatsoever. Even though I started with a fairly decent board. Look at that. So sad. Uh, I can do better. I have done better. I will do better. And eventually I'll get this beaten. Now, whether I can do it without boosters or not is yet to be seen. Because sometimes, you know, life is more important than a game. And so you just have to go, well, you know, the, the husband needs attention, the dishes need to be done, the kid needs to go somewhere. But I'm going to try this for a while here. We're going to see what happens. Now, this is a uh, worse setup, but maybe I'll get better luck throughout here. Not yet. We'll see how it goes. All right, so I have to win, oops, hello, win against this licorice, and this licorice is really taking hold of everything. Now I can make a strike against this directly. I could make a strike and take this out, but look at that. Now that got stunned a bit, so it couldn't produce. It's going to be able to produce now. I know that because I didn't hit it again, but in that split second there, it gives me a bit of hope. This is more insulated now. It's not likely to get struck where it's positioned. So I'm going to hold on to it for a bit longer to see if I can pair it up with something. Okay, this is about to strike, but it's not likely to get over here. I'm going to try taking out some licorice first, knowing that I may be losing this opportunity, but now I've set it up so actually things can strike through a bit better. Still, I only have five moves, but I can hit this directly. So let's do that, and I can hit this directly. I know, I could make this and make a wrap wrap combo. Well, actually, let's go ahead and do that, because that's so significant, because it will help both of these guys down here. Let's take the time to make that particular special. Still not enough to get things done. Now the good news is I had so many specials that I cleared out a lot of the residue around here because even if I get all of these gone, I'll still have jelly that I need to remove. And that was really um, beneficial to see that I didn't have any of that jelly left there. Still didn't help, but it gives hope for the future because we'll see some of those levels like that. Now if you just want to see me beat this level, I'd advance to the last probably three minutes of the recording, what I'll eventually do is give up a bit and 
Ooh, hello. And then just allow um, you to not see everything, but make some progress off screen. I'm going to do this mostly because it hits here. Oh, look at this. This is going to get consumed if I don't take something out. But maybe it's okay for it to get consumed. Maybe I should make another one of those wrapped wrapped combos. It doesn't mean that I'll be able to use it as a combo, but I think that is my best chance here. Yeah, see, I didn't get to use it as a combo, but it still had a significant impact on the board. And now I get to duplicate that color bond that was taken away from me. But to what end? What can I do with this? Not much. What color do I not have a lot of? I don't have a lot of orange on the board. So I take out orange, and that concentrates things down. I do this, and that gives me a special, which I didn't get to pair with the wrapped or with the color bomb, but at least it made some dents on this board. Okay, I can make a special, but look at this. I can hit this guy directly, and that's more important. I could do this, which would be aimed over here, but I would have to get it to work. I'm going to do this instead, trying to get some cascading over here to help. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. That got struck. Now here's the situation where I've got these residual pieces. Look at all this purple. How can this purple work together for me? Oh, look at this. I'm going to do this because it strikes here, and then I have to figure out I needed the luck of getting this paired with something, and I didn't get that luck. Yeah, but you can see we're getting closer and you can see the problems that remain on the board. So two jelly left at that point in time. I may have been in the middle of a, a thought before. Advancing to the last couple minutes of the board, you got that right? Or the, of the recording? Uh, and then I'll just kind of play around here and see what I can get done. I like to leave in the ones that I think are going to be instructive, and a lot of the failures are actually instructive. But it would be nice to see a win eventually, right? Okay, I know these are probably going to get consumed, but I have to... Oh, good. They're not. They're getting blown up, which is perfect. Okay. All right, remember how that residue was so hard to get to? We took care of that right away, and we blew that up. That was well spent. I can make a raft, which would also hit this, or I can make a raft, which would be aimed here, or I can make a stripe, which would hit this. I'm going to go this route. Ah, oh, I like that. This is good. This is really good. Nice. can't hit that and it's going to spew something. So what other advantages can I make on this board? I could make this, but I don't see it as being very valuable. Instead I'm going to make a move low to the ground to encourage cascading to try to get something better set up for myself. Oh my. Oh, I can hit that. I don't know why I didn't see that earlier. And now I can reach to that little nubbins there. I can hit. I can't hit. What can I do? I can make a special down here and make cascades. Oh man, if I could get one horizontal stripe to set off, that would be good. No, I can't. Not yet. I do have this populated. I don't have a lot of green on the board. Let's take out green and go for cascading. Oh. 
there we go, stuck with two again, and that means that I'm getting close. That means that I'm on the right path, and I know the problems on the board, and I just have to address them a bit better, and then, of course, hope for a luckier board. There is that balance between what I can do and the, what the board gives me. Yuck, that's going to get consumed, I think. But this remains, and I'm going to use it to full advantage now to just clear things out. Oh, stay around. Okay, look at that. It's going to hit up here, it's going to hit down here, it's going to hit down here. We're getting nice cascading residual effect here. Look at that. We're getting that struck. Boom. And now it's going to get hit again. Oh, I can hit this one. It's hard to see some of these. I can hit this one. So you're looking not only for what you can hit, but what you can... Oh, I can clear that out a bit. Uh, what you can cascade into action. All right, well, didn't quite get it, but I got a stripe that I used to full effect so that if I could have gotten those, it would have taken out that jelly. All right, I'm not surprised I'm out of lives. It feels like I've played about 17 times. Let me go, go ahead and pause the recording. The next one you see is either going to be extremely instructive or it's just going to be the win. You've seen me lose enough. Now it's time to only show you what's either a win or uh, what pitfalls you can avoid or what uh, is going to teach you something. Okay, so now I have a nice concentration of blue and green here. Let's capitalize on that. And let's not waste this. Let's open up as much as we can as quickly as possible. I'm going to set, make a color bomb, which is also going to be set off. That's just going to clear things out and concentrate the colors. So now I can make a strike in here directly. It's not agitated, which means um, stunning it isn't going to stop anything. I wish I could hit this one. But still, this is, you know, for future. Yuck, not great. What should I do? I'm going to do this and try to set this guy up. There we go. So now I'm striking him while he's agitated, so that's really stunning him. I'm going to keep focusing over on this side of the board since I've got a stronghold here now. Oh, look at this. I don't have much orange, especially in those places where I really want it. But if I hold on to this, I'm going to lose the opportunity. So I have to take it and hope that it has some value. It did clear these out a bit for me. And because these pop with explosion, explosive force, hopefully that'll be enough. Look at this. Look at this. So I'm going to hit both of those and clear a lot out. This is about the best shot I've had on this board. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get a wrapped wrapped combo, but that was enough to clear that out. Okay, come on, guy. I need you so bad here. I'm dropping this into position. I'm holding off. I want to hit this and explode it so that I can use this to clear out the nubbins. So this is where it's a combination of luck and skill. If I had used this right away, I wouldn't be able to infiltrate this area. But because I hadn't, and because the luck existed on the board where it didn't just kind of drop down or explode, I was able to get this done without boosters. This was a challenge. All in all, though, it only took me 23 tries, which I'm amazed at because there are so many components to this. Definitely using boosters would really help you, especially at the end if you've got some lolly hammers. If you get really close, and a lot of people just kind of throw boosters at a board, I wait until uh, those in-game boosters, until I know that they're going to make a win for me because those lolly hammers and switch hands are so valuable. Uh, that I'm going to make sure that I'm going to get the full value of them. 
So that's how I beat this board. Hopefully you're just as successful. Even 22 tries isn't much on a board like this. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. That in turn would help me out. And as always, thanks so much for watching.